It is imperative that young learners understand that spoken words are made up of individual sounds. This is phonological awareness. Research has demonstrated that phonological awareness is a strong predictor of reading success. Let's look at some fun and important activities that can be tied to the books you'll read with your students. Before we begin, make sure that you have downloaded the handout for this session. Phonological awareness develops in a hierarchy, from easiest to hardest. An easy level of phonological awareness is asking a student to decide if a spoken word is a long word or a short word. For example, hippopotamus is a long word. Cow is a short word. You can choose six to eight words from the book you're reading. So I'll say a word and you're gonna repeat that word. And you're gonna show me if that word is a long word or a short word. Okay. You ready? Yep. First word is watermelon. Watermelon. A long word or short word? Long. Long. Good. Next word, corn. Corn. Long or short? Short. Good job. At the next level, students clap out and count the number of syllables in a spoken word. I'll say a word you repeat after me. Afterwards, we'll clap and count the syllables. Okay. All right. First word, blueberries. 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 Good job. That's three claps and three syllables. Okay. The next word, pear. 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 Good job. How many claps? One. And how many syllables? One. Good job. Now let's do a little rhyming. We'll start with odd one out. Choose three words. Two that rhyme with each other and one that doesn't rhyme with either word. You say the words. Your student repeats the words and identifies the one that does not rhyme with the other two words. So let's do a little rhyming. We're going to play odd one out. Remember, you'll tell me the word that doesn't rhyme. Get ready. Bed, red, ran. Ran. Good job. The next one is peach, play, stay. Peach. Good job. Now let's try something a little harder. I'll say a word, you repeat it, and think of as many words as you can that rhyme with that word. Get ready, repeat after me. Sit. Sit. Hit. Bit. Pit. Sit. And now for the quintessential phonological awareness activity. You will need a Say It, Move It card, which is a piece of paper with a square at the top and an arrow at the bottom. Now I'll say a word and you repeat it. We're gonna say the word again slowly and move a counter for each sound in the word. Okay. So it's gonna be my turn first and then you'll do it. Okay. My turn. Sip. 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 Your turn. Sip. 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 What word? Sip. Good job. The highest level of phonological awareness is deleting, adding, or changing sounds in spoken words. Say the word slip. Now say slip without s. What is the new word? Yes, lip. Say the word ape. Now say ape and add sh to the beginning. What is the new word? Yes, shape. Say the word cream. Now say cream and change k to d. What is the new word? Yes, dream. Okay, now let's make some words. Here are some letters. And I'm going to have you make some words using these letters. Okay. So find the letters that spell it. I, T. And what's that word? It. If that says it, make it say sit. Good. 
good. Read that word. Sit. If that says sit, make make it say pit. If that says pit, spell pat. Good, you it's an A. So what's that word? Pat. You can see how fun phonological awareness can be and how important it is to reading success.